Uh, so with that, we will move on to reports. And the first item under reports, item A, recognition of staff or students. Principal Buss. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Actually, I have the privilege of recognizing a few individuals. I'd like to read something from Dina Wolf, who is the K-16 Outreach Coordinator of the Institute of World Affairs Center for International Education from UW-Milwaukee. Please accept our delayed and very sincere thank you for allowing Ms. Verona Chambers to present at our European Union Boundaries and Barriers Workshop for high school students this past November. Mrs. Chambers' presentation was incredibly powerful and received great praise from our students, teachers, and staff. We definitely could not have had the quality of, of personal experience and learning amongst our students without her keynote presentation. It was truly highlights for all of us. The workshop had almost 180 students there and staff and uh, she was hand selected by Dina to go ahead and come. Those of you that know Verona, obviously she has a wealth of knowledge from, from Germany from today and from what Germany used to be. A uh, fantastic resource to go ahead and use and really needs to be commended not only for the presentation that she gave but for her background and for, again, being hand selected to do that as well. Um, actually has some students that this past weekend had the opportunity to go to Honors Band. Uh, from the middle school, we had Jenna Scott and Cameron Shuck. And from the high school, we had Emily Olson, Justin Durhammer, and Mallory Barracks. Actually participated in an all-day event this Saturday. Uh, I believe it was from 9 a.m. finishing in the evening with a concert. But they actually learned five pieces, basically a very intensive uh, work session where I can't imagine how they could actually perform in the evening, how their lips would still be functioning after literally, other than eating, as I spoke with Mrs. Nelke, that's all they did was play the entire time. Uh, she also shared that the students actually were selected by our own staff and they, get, they are combined with other students from other uh, bands from around the state. And when they come together, um, they're playing actually at a grade level or even a grade level and a half higher than what they're actually being taught at in their, in their school setting. Uh, so the students performed very, very well. And again, I can't believe their lips are actually functioning after that <laughs> much playing in one time. Uh, the last is actually a student and teacher I'd like to recognize. Uh, the student is Evan Lord, and our staff member is Amanda Zeba. Uh, through Cash Through Classrooms, it's an opportunity uh, through the Cooley Partnering Connection where students can go ahead and actually submit grant ideas for their classrooms for their teachers. And uh, Evan Lord actually had talked with Mrs. Zeba about an idea of going ahead and getting some assistive tools where students can listen to books. Um, we could say on tape, tapes don't exist anymore, but through uh, MP3 players or other devices, and actually his grant was selected. So we actually were awarded $250 for the purchase of MP3 players to be used in our reading classroom uh, under the tutelage of Mrs. Zeba to go ahead and use in her classrooms to assist students with actually being able to uh, listen to the books versus having to read them at the same point so they have a better opportunity to comprehend what's going on for their books. So I want to give special thanks to uh, Mrs. Zeba and to Evan for doing those things. Any questions on those? Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, the next item is recognition of the, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah. One more, just a, a quick announcement, and there you'll see some other communications going out via email and other methods. But the high school is uh, going to be recognizing all of our students and all of our staff's first semester success at the very first success showcase to be held next week, Monday evening from 4.30 to 8 p.m. As you recall, last year we came and presented a, a couple of ideas about how we can revitalize um, what was... Um, pretty dramatically low attendance at our, our parent conferences and turn that time into something more valuable and uh, to engage not only with our parents but the broader community. This is uh, the, the long-awaited results. So I'm going to pass around a little flyer for you. Um, if you have the opportunity, even if it's just for a little while, I'd encourage you to stop by the night of Monday the 28th from 4.30 to 8 p.m. at the high school. Uh, there's going to be a number of things going on there, from uh, the uh, rock climbing wall and demonstrations happening there to uh, some great food that you can sample for free from our, our cooking students to um, some, some cool labs going on in science that are going to be uh, fun for kids of all ages from, I think, five years old on up. Just things going on throughout the building, uh, both uh, staff and students there helping them 
to, to put this on. We want to showcase some of the really cool things that we do all of the time that perhaps the community doesn't understand or has never heard about. So it's a great time to come find out what's happening at Toma High School. And uh, it's an especially great time for any 8th grade students or uh, parents of 8th of graders who are going to be freshmen next year to come and actually see it in action. If you wonder what happens in an AP Biology class, show up and find out. Uh, you'll, you'll have uh, access with students from the class and the teachers from that class and engage in some of the projects that, that happen. So yeah, we're, we're looking forward to it. We think we're ready and uh, we're ready to give it a shot. Will the eighth graders get an email their families to know about this to encourage they, them? To they will. Up? Mr. Buss and I were just discussing that. I, I sent it to the eighth graders that I have access to, which is evidently only the ones who are already taking classes at the high school. So he's going to send it out tomorrow to all of the eighth graders. Wonderful. Yep. That'd be great. Um, someone had their hand up back there. There's already been a letter mailed out to the um, parents of the eighth graders. Okay, great. And that was U.S. mail, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> We're trying multi-modalities with this. <laughs> so, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>